excited. excited. We was dancing. Hey. <laughs> We just wrapped up an amazing um, real estate house party right here in uh, Titusville, Florida. The ladies came out and they actually came out to the house and viewed this beautiful house which is up for sale right now. And we sat and we talked about all the different strategies to invest in real estate. So that is what you guys missed tonight, all right? So they are loving, they are excited, and I'm going to give you just a quick tour of the property real quick. Do you mind? Do you wanna come with me and see this house? It's um, a little bit under 3,000 square feet. It's a fixer upper. It's a really, really big house for a fixer upper but it is all right so properties in this neighborhood are selling for upwards of 280,000 and this property is listed for 237,000 because it has a few minor stuff that needs to be um, changed on it right so it's um they're taking it into consideration all of the um, repairs that needs to be done so this is the family area of this house let's go into the kitchen let's take a look at it it's all this noise and commotion because we're in here. So here's the beautiful kitchen for this property here. As an investor, what I would do with this property is um, to bring it up to its maximum value. I would definitely, at this price point, change the, the countertops. Got to change the countertops in here. I would definitely go with like a, a, a stone surface, like a granite or a Corian countertops or something like that, which is really, really nice. It does have stainless steel appliances in here and it's really nice. It comes with all four pieces of the, the kitchen set here. So it has um, stainless steel microwave and um, a electric stove, but it is stainless steel, which is nice. And then it has a dishwasher, which is really nice too. And it actually has two sinks. How cool is that? So you got one sink here, main sink, and then it also has a center island with another sink right here as well too, which I think is pretty amazing. It's very convenient. It also has um, two walk-in pantries, right? So for those that love, love, love to buy extra ketchup, yeah, you got two pantries. <laughs> Here's the second one here for all of you like Costco shoppers and love to buy all of this, like really, um, or the whole bunch of sets of condiments, right? So let's take a look. Let's go and see what the other ladies are doing. They're all out there cackling. See, say hey ladies, hey! <laughs> We're on Instagram Live. Woohoo! Hey, shout out to Instagram. Hey. All right. So we are going to do another tour of the property on Instagram. Yep. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. If we can turn on this one here, that'll be cool. And then we'll go upstairs. Well, I'll just walk behind you. <laughs> we'll do. Lisa will take me. So we're going up the steps right now. <laughs> So we're going up the steps. This house is huge. It is amazing. It's so big. It has a lot of potential, okay? So we're going up stairs. One, one of the features that I love a lot about this house is like, take a look at it. Look at that. You can look downstairs. How cool is that? So we're upstairs on the second level and we're in like a family space right here that we probably could use as like, um, I would put this as like a game room maybe or you know something a real special space like that or like a tv room um maybe even like um a place where if you have a big family you can do like your the kids do their homework they can have the desk right here they can have all that cool stuff right here so another space that i absolutely love 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 is this master bedroom it's huge all right take a look guys you think you're ready Hold on to your socks, okay? You ready? I'm gonna turn it. Here we go. So we're in the master bedroom. Take a look at this space. O-M-G. It's huge. It's so big. It's like a 24 by uh, 18. I mean, it's really, really big, all right? You can fit like three queen size or, or kings, two kings or five kings. I don't even know. It's just really big, all right? So if you got like a really big bed, then this is the house for you. How about that? And then it has a really nice um, master bathroom here with um, the Roman tub, the, gar the garden tub that most people like. So here's the thing as an investor that, I would change again. So, one of the first things I noticed about this property is that it has laminate floors, okay? 
Now, okay, it has laminate floors. It's probably like the original builder style floor that came with the house, but this would be something that I would definitely change. I would actually change it to um, tile or some kind of more modern um, flooring, floor covering. Another thing I would also change is the, the countertops in the bathroom as well. So although there's nothing like technically wrong with these countertops they're functional they're in really really good condition it's just that if you're trying to get like top dollar for this property you might want to put like granite you know if you're having a master bath and you want to make it like upscale you're going to want to have like some kind of hard surface stone um countertop and then for the mirror right this is the kind of mirror that the builders use it doesn't have like any frame or anything like that so it kind of makes it look a little bit cheap. So I would change the mirrors and I would also change the um, fixtures. So, but all of those things are like minor, minor changes. Truly, it really are. And then in here, um, it has two walk-in closets. This alone is like for my purses, like for real, for real. I don't even know. <laughs> Thank goodness there's two of them. <laughs> so here we have um, a walk-in closet right here with some shelving in it. And then they also have another walk-in closet. So it's like a his and hers walk-in closet. Fair enough. So <clears throat> I can see that the closets need um, painting. So, all right, they have some, a little bit of wear and tear, but nothing terribly bad that um, should scare you, right? So if you're an investor, you're looking at this, you are calculating and summing up all of the expenses, and then you're like, okay, this has to be calculated and accounted for in my offer. And we have our three-day real estate investing uh, workshop and bus tour that we are going to be taking all of our students out and showing them exactly how to calculate the, um, the repairs for properties just like this and how to make them really pretty and sexy so you can put them back on the market for top dollar. In here, you have a separate shower. Look at that, a separate shower. Can you see it? All right, let me see. A, a separate shower, <laughs> a stand-in shower, which is separate from, um, from the tub. So that's pretty nice too. People like that a lot. All right, so that's, um, that's the master bathroom and the master uh, bedroom, which I said is a huge space, you guys. It's ridiculously huge. Then, let's see. We're gonna go into, let me turn off. Ooh, and it has really nice ceiling fans. Look at that, vaulted ceilings. It's pretty high. That's nice. <laughs> That's really, really nice because heat rises, right? So here we go. That's really, really nice in Florida. All right, so I'm going to turn that off there. And now we're going to go to the other secondary bath bedrooms in, in this house. So here's another bedroom. <clears throat> here's another bedroom. And it also is a really, really great space as well, too. Um, that's the information for the listing agent. One of the things that I encourage new investors to do is build relationships with agents. Why? Because they know where really good properties just like this are, are listed, right? So whenever you are in need of finding like a really good property, one strategy is working with um, licensed professionals. Another strategy is to find off-market deals yourself and you can do your own marketing. But, you know, if you really want to leverage your time, you can incorporate an agent to help you find really good deals just like this. Oh, our guests are leaving. Let me see. Are they leaving? <laughs> Bye, it was such a pleasure. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> yes. You come into the three day? Look at that, she coming to the three day, y'all. Oh, <laughs> good night. So one of the other things that are really really important to to take a look at when as a real estate investor there are four point a four point inspection that's really important to you to make sure that <clears throat> excuse me that you make sure you want to make sure that you price these repairs if any at all really really well the first one is going to be the roof right that makes sense you want to make sure that the roof is really good then you also want to make sure that the electrical in the house is really good then you also want to check out the plumbing 
Then, last but least, in Florida, we have a central air conditioning system, which is the HVA system. If you're up north or in another region of the, of the country, maybe you're um, checking out the boiler and the furnace system. But here, this is called the uh, air handler. So this is the air handler here. And I know it's not sexy or anything like that, but we always take a look at it as a real estate investor. You wanna see the last time it was serviced, when it was installed, you wanna see if it was maintained well, right? You wanna see all of this stuff down here. Can you see it? We're looking for corrosion. We're looking for anything that shows that um, there could be leaks in here. There could be all kinds of stuff. If the filter hasn't been changed and it's blocked up, this is the kind of stuff that will cost you thousands and thousands of dollars if it's not maintained. Like one of these itself by itself is, you know, if you're trying to replace a whole system for HVAC, it could be upwards of like five grand. And if you don't pay attention and account for that replacement, it could cost you a lot, a lot of money, a lot of money, all right? It costs you a lot of money that you didn't count on spending. Hmm. Trying to tell you. <laughs> all right, so, so far we've went to the master, we went to a secondary bedroom, and then here's another Another bathroom in here too. This is a four piece um, bathroom. It has a double sink, um, toilet, and a shower and tub combo, which is pretty nice. This is like a hallway bathroom that has, um, that's accessible, I would say, to all the other secondary bathrooms that everyone can use. <clears throat> here we have the other bedroom in here, which is really nice. Look how big this space is, you guys. It's huge. This house is awesome. It's like almost 3,000 square feet. Like I said, it's like 2,000. 862 square feet I thought it said on the listing and then it also this particular room has it's like a secondary master bedroom for real for real it also has two closets too and as you can see there's something going on right here you see that mm -hmm. but it looks like it's an easy fix maybe some paint or something like that something happened that let me touch it oh they just patched the wall that's what it is <clears throat> this happens sometimes um, on, on, on sheet rack on drywall because like if you have um, like a whole bunch of clothes sometimes the weight the weight from you hanging up all of the clothes will cause your rack to come down you know your class your closet to collapse and if it does that it may tear and damage the um, the drywall so what has to happen is that you have to patch it patch it and then you also have to put in new anchors and new racks to make sure that they that they stay up. This has happened to me. I've had my closet personally collapse on me like at least three times. <laughs> That's a clear idea that, yeah, I'm not giving away enough stuff. <laughs> but I do, I purge my closet annually, but for some reason I end up like just buying more stuff and now again, everything you come home one day and like everything in your closet is on the floor. You're like, what? <laughs> yeah, it happens. <laughs> And turn the light off we're in the dark all right so here we go now we're back downstairs again but it's a really it's a really great space you guys i just want to show you again this is a four bedroom um with a bonus room that could be converted into a fifth bedroom but truly it's another fifth bedroom because it has a window and it has a closet so it's a bedroom hmm. <clears throat> but I suppose that you can use it as an office or some kind of other space if you'd like. But again, you also have this area right here that you can do the same thing with. So I think that's super amazing. It's very versatile and um, a dynamic space that you can do a lot of different things with, okay? So if you're just tuning in right now, my name is Jackie Jackson. I'm a full-time real estate investor here in Central Florida, and I'm a coach and I'm a mentor, and I teach people how to achieve financial freedom um, with real estate, right? So I have a three-day uh, workshop that's coming up in February, February 22nd to the 24th, where we'll teach you, my team and I, all of my friends, my real estate friends, we are going to teach you everything that we know, right, in a really amazing, intimate setting where you get to ask all of your most important questions that you've always wanted to know with real estate. And then, <laughs> yeah, I know the baby. <laughs> the baby's crying, and, right? <laughs> Well, you know what? Real estate makes, it's a family affair. It's a family affair. So we've had some guests that has had children. So, hey, the baby's crying. It's okay. It's a family affair. Anyway, so on the three-day 
we are going to teach you real estate investing strategies and then um the last day we're going to take you out on a tour just like this where we're taking you out to real properties and going to help you um put all of those strategies together that allows you to be really really successful so step by step walking you through um the entire process of how to be a real estate investor, be successful, where to find properties, where to find houses, where to find sellers, where to find buyers, how to evaluate and, 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 and place your analysis on properties, um, how to calculate repairs, where to go to find um, your resources and how to build a team. We're gonna make it so real for you. It's a, like a no brainer, all right? So if you wanna come out to that event, it's it's like I said, it's a no brainer. It's over $10,000 of real estate in investing education in three whole days and it's severely discounted for the value that you guys are going to receive it's only three hundred and ninety seven dollars all right three hundred and ninety seven dollars at a value of over ten thousand dollars that's huge 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 all you have to do is um go to cashflowyourlife.com forward slash three days, because it's three whole days of education, real estate investor education, cashflowyourlife.com forward slash three days, and you have the opportunity to grab your seat on the bus, all right? So we're in, we're, we're in this property right now, and we just wrapped up our real estate house party. It was a amazing all right so we had um ladies all guests they brought out their children it was awesome and then we sat and we talked about all of the different ways creatively that we could control this property and make money from it like hot dog <laughs> who does that <laughs> forget about tupperware and like mary Kay. we need real estate house parties right so that's what we did tonight and i'm just giving you guys a really quick tour of the property as i as i walk around in it. All right, so I'm actually um, towards the tail end here. I'm going to start turning off the lights for the, the agents that made this property available to us. They were really kind and allowing us to utilize this space. So if you know any agents and you know any other people that are interested in um, in working with us as real estate investors, this, this would be a really great time for us to do some joint ventures together too. So reach out to me for that. My email is Jackie at the jackiejackson.com so jackie at the jackiejackson.com how cool right i don't know i must love myself a lot i do <laughs> so jackie at the jackiejackson.com <laughs> check me out on my website you can't miss me <laughs> all right so we're going down the stairs we're gonna hang out with the baby <laughs> she's hanging out this beautiful young lady right here she is learning real estate she just took my uh real estate wholesaling class yes. right yes. so let's talk about it so real estate rock star that's what she is so yes how did you like the class oh the class was amazing it i mean the information was crazy y'all and and not only the uh, the information I, I gained confidence because with information i could um execute it and i got confidence and i got miss jackie on my side <laughs> so y'all got to get that class honey because i'm about to get the bag okay <laughs> snatch the bag <laughs> and that's what it's all about right real estate investing is not hard it's just knowing what to do when to do it and what strategy to use that's going to allow you to be the most successful so here is this room right here here's the other room oh i see why okay so remember i told i told you about the fifth bedroom right that fourth the fifth room that could be a bedroom i tell you why it's optional all right here's the reason why it doesn't have a closet i thought it had a closet and a bedroom legally has to have a window and a closet to be considered a bedroom so this one does not have a closet so that's why they call it a bonus room how neat cool do you see it you see it <laughs> i just did a 360 for you guys how silly and then it has like laminate floors again here all right so what else is happening is someone in here nope it also has a uh half bathroom so this is a four bedroom two and a half bath two and a half but where's the light for here two and a half bath 
with a with a bonus room that could be a fifth room but it doesn't have a closet so this is the the half bath and it's a two-piece because it has um just a sink and a commode and that's it all right and then it has a two-car garage here this house is being sold for 235000 That's what it's listed for. So make your best offer. The agents are right here. So I'm not a licensed professional in any way, shape, or form. Just my disclosure, I'm a full-time real estate investor. And I teach strategies that allows you to control properties just like this and make money from it, right? So you don't have to be licensed to be a real estate investor. So I just wanted to make that clear. I am not licensed. However, um, I do make money off of real estate and I can teach you how to do the same thing. So here is um, the two car garage, which is pretty nice, not bad, right? Two car garage. <clears throat> As a real estate investor, another area of concern is always the electrical panel, the panel. You want to make sure and the reason why this is so important is because it depends on who installed it as well as like is it ge like who who's this one this one no that's the turn that's the um notice of inspection that's the termite that's the pest control oh please they put the sticker on the uh, on the fuse box. <laughs> That's all. Anyway, but this one is a Siemens. All right, so this is where you find it, right there. Do you see it? I don't know. Me. Wait, wait, wait. There it is. All right. Perfect. There. All right. There. <laughs> so you want to understand whose who's, um, electrical box is this. This is important. Why is this important? Because there are certain... Um, there are certain control electrical panels right that insurance companies just doesn't want to they just don't want to ins insure you you want to know that in up front you buy a property to flip it and next thing you know you're like but you know the outlets work the electrical work and then you can't get any like property insurance on the house <laughs> that makes a difference unless you change out all of that which is like thousands of dollars right that you probably didn't account for in your budget so you need to know that information up front so that's why it's important to take a look at that so as an investor it's the roof it is the electrical panel right it's also the plumbing and it's also the um central air conditioning system like the heating and cooling system throughout the house all of that information is really really important everything outside of that is like cosmetic right so you can change cabinets you can change countertops you can paint a house on the inside and outside you can change carpets you can change flooring you can change all of those things but the big money items you want to make sure that you pay special special attention to because if you don't then it could cost you a lot more and eat into your profit, which you did not intend for it to do. Anyway, but I just want to say thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Come out to our three-day uh, real estate investing uh, workshop and uh, the bus tour, which is pretty dope and amazing. You want to be able to do that too. And we're going to connect the dots, hold your hands, and make it really real and really relevant so that you can actually be able to be a successful real estate investor and just start being your best, best self. Anyway, it is the Jackie Jackson. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to lock this house up and we're just going to have a good old night. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the flip side. <laughs>